So my first question is, is it your first visit? First no, ever it's visit actually our second visit. Second, at least something. Before. Yes. And have you already chance during this visit to have a look around? Uh, did you have a the little chance? bit. A little bit? Only a little bit. We walked across the Charles Bridge. Good. We went to a very nice restaurant whose name I can't tell you, but has a beautiful view off to, uh, uh, it's up high. Oh yeah. With a view off to uh, Prague. So last not, on, night. not only lectures, lectures, no, we are not, not completely. <laughs> not <laughs> and completely. tomorrow is a tourist day. Only tourist day. Good, congratulations. And so we're going to see Aida tomorrow night. We're looking forward to flying back, flying back home on, on Friday. On Friday, flying back home. Okay. Um, there is a kind of a tradition or a habit that, well, the English word is like father, like son. Hmm. Uh, you are famous physicists, you are famous scientists. What about your kids, if you have kids or your grandchildren? Um, Do they follow in your steps? Or, well, not really. Not really. So they said they come to the conclusion that well, it was enough already in the family, so we can do something else. Well, they're well, they're doing what they're interested in, I guess. What, what is it? <clears throat> Our oldest son, I think, could have been a scientist. He's very curious about things, always investigating things around him. Mm -hmm. uh, distills in his garage, <laughs> working something with the hands. Mm -hmm. Yes, was interested in chemistry. Well, I guess many boys make firecrackers and yes, explosions like at home. Explosions, yeah. yes, explosions at home. Um, but he's uh, uh, a CIO at a, a small internet retailer. I see. So he, he manages computer things. Oh, okay. And, and has learned a tremendous about, amount about computers. Yeah. Yeah. So that's somewhat in my. Not very far from your profession, not very far. Not very far. Not very far, yes. It's I understand. Okay. okay. Um, I wonder that, well, um, it's quite interesting feature that there are many people who are fully focused on, professionally focused on math or physics or science in mm -hmm. general. They are very keen of music, of classical music. Yes. Mm -hmm. How was your case? How is your case? What do you play? What musical uh, instrument do you play? I don't play anything anymore. As but you use in the, as a kid, I studied piano for several years. Here we are. Yes. And in high school, I played a trombone in the marching band. The marching band. Yes. And well, how many years with the piano? Was your um, lesson? Must so have been four practical. or five years with the piano. My fingers aren't fast enough. I really well, can't think about being a, a serious musician. What was your favorite music? I mean, well, composer, Mozart, Beethoven, well, Stravinsky. Band music was uh, uh, Sousa. Oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, I s certainly have spent a lot of time listening to classical music. Mm -hmm. uh, we go to the opera two or three times a year. Uh, we have a regular symphony subscription. Okay. Uh huh. I have enjoyed. Uh, well, Czech suppose, composers, Dvorak. many other, Dvorak. Dvorak, yes. From the New World, Symphony yes. Number 9, mm -hmm. Feynman, right. beautiful, nice, nice beautiful. piece of music. I remember one special time, um, I had put an FM tuner in my car. Mm -hmm. uh, this was before FM radios were common in cars, and we and the family were driving through New Hampshire and in the evening and that came on. It was just beautiful. I believe you. Yes, I know it. I know it. My very humble proposal, if you have a chance next time to plan your visit to Prague, please try to come sometimes in late, late May, early June. Mm -hmm. It's the period of time when there is the musical, classical music uh, well, oh. festival. Mm -hmm. uh, go, not not uh, Prague Spring. Hmm. Which means that, well, at that time you can hear classical music, good classical mm -hmm. music, almost yes. every second house in the old town. So, well, mm -hmm. just your choice, this house, the next one, well, mm -hmm. any place you can uh -huh. hear. Nice, good music. So, my humble proposal mm -hmm. next time, come again, mm -hmm. and next time, the second half of May or the early okay. part of okay. June. Or any we'll time. Try to do that. Any time. Any time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Um, with whom would you like to meet in the history? I mean, well, your, your previous phys famous physician, famous physics, or well, mathematicians in the history. Whom, whom you would like to, to, to meet if you can talk to him and well, ask questions and well, something like that? Oh. Archimedes? Galileo? Any of those guys would be interesting. Isaac I Newton? Um, not only asking them about their science and their understanding, but uh, they live in a very, they lived in a very different uh, social environment. Mm -hmm. it, you know, time travel would be very interesting in yes. any case, yeah. but especially with a scientist. Yeah. And I think any of those uh, classical scientists would be, interesting be very to interesting to talk to, talk to yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, you know, uh, I have a plan for the future because well, in this, in this my life, it's mm -hmm. very short time, so I have, well, interesting questions for the well, next several, e several lives, mm -hmm. if there is <laughs> an A. And uh, so, because of the current speed of the, of the physics, of the, of, the, of the research in physics, mm -hmm. in cosmology, if you have a chance to be born again, when would you like to be born? After 200 years or or 500 years just to witness, just to, just to be oh. amazed by the speed, by the development of understanding of, of I think of after the even 100 years, it would be hard would be nice. to recognize. If you consider the rate at which things have changed in my lifetime, yes. uh, the, you know, the cell phone would have yes. been <laughs> completely unimaginable to me yes. as a child. Yeah. Well, my, my, my opinion is that if it is too early to be born again, probably the answer about the universe, the mm -hmm. basic physics, new questions, probably maybe, maybe not answered yet. Right. So then maybe the later, the, the better. Yes. So, mm -hmm. uh, oh, certainly. The longer I wait, the more I will see. Yeah. And the less I will recognize anything. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, in, in, in this country, we face a surprising phenomenon that well, the young people are afraid of science. Oh. They are afraid of math. Hmm. It's hard, it's difficult to hmm. study math, they say. Mm -hmm. I suppose that math, physics, science is a pleasure. Yes. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Was it a pleasure One thing for that you? happened to me is that my father used to bring home mathematical puzzles. Really? And we would think about how to solve them together. I see. And, uh, you know, I've always enjoyed learning about math. Um, as a college student, I had four years of math that were mostly theoretical. You know, I see. proving theorems. We learned about functions of real and complex variables and yes. things that, to be honest, I've never used. <laughs> and, and then I had a uh, first year graduate school I had a course in math for physicists, and I learned about Close. Fourier transforms and other things like that, mm -hmm. which I have used ever since. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know it exists. It, it, you, yeah, you, I know you it exists. It. Yeah, you can find and it. If needed, you can find it. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And I've always enjoyed those things. Well, sometimes more, sometimes less. Yes. But well, but my, my question, and it is, well, I'm already old, so well, I can, if I can see that, well, Young people are afraid, they're, they're mm. not even trying mm. to understand, to be, to be emerged into it. Right. I say, why? I don't know. <clears throat> well, we've had the problem for years with girls. Yes. Who can do math as well as any boy. Of course. But at some point they decide that it's not feminine or not something. so funny. Yeah. That's so fancy. Yeah. Well, that's a problem. It's, it's a problem. It's, it's a problem to. I think to get them to have good experiences with it so that they realize they can do it. But I don't know how you force this on them. Well, uh, I think that uh, it's a good example that uh, Fields Medal, mm -hmm. for the first time this year, for the first time in history, it was awarded to a lady. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that might be that might be a good example that, well, even it's not given to anybody. Right. Fierce medal, it's not given to anybody. But mm -hmm. well, it, it was with a lady, uh, not a she was from Iran, she was born in Iran. 
Mm -hmm. So uh, it could be a good example that we may, yeah, charming ladies can do or right. the substantive progressive yes. methods. Mm -hmm. your, your proposal, how to approach this problem, how to explain, how to make it more attractive for... Yeah. I don't know. No solution. No solution. Don't, don't really have a solution, do no you? Solution. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody has, I suspect. I think the real thing is to somehow catch them at an early age and uh, get get their interest in it, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm not an educator and mm -hmm. I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Um, in the past, in the history, Trivium was the basic for the education, reading, writing, reckoning. Right. Nowadays, probably it is uh, math and engineering, physics or, or something. If I may <laughs> confess, for me it would be math and math and then music, <laughs> classical music mm -hmm. would be for me. What about for you? What what would be your if, if you if you can start again, if you are at the beginning of your professional career, or in the in the at the high school, what would be your preferred subject of interest? Biology. I think yes. Biomass? I think by uh, some sort of biology, probably with an engineering applications applications. Uh, or medical instrumentation, um, yeah, somewhere along in there. I think that biology is an opening field still. It's, uh, it's made a lot of progress recently, but that's where very important problems occur. Mm -hmm. um, I guess something I'd really like to be able to do something about is the uh, question of clean energy. Really? Yes, I think oh. we need it. We need it probably more than almost anything else to uh, to save our planet. How do you see the issues cracking of cracking the 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 the, the, the gas from, from from down the earth? Uh, How do I see that. That that I think is an interesting intermediate thing because burning natural gas is not nearly as bad as burning coal. Mm -hmm. Both for the amount of carbon dioxide yeah. and for uh, not polluting the atmosphere with all the junk that comes with coal. But that's not a solution. That, that will keep us from running out of energy mm -hmm. for the time being, but it doesn't stop filling up the atmosphere with carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we need nuclear power uh, or ways... In spite of Fukushima? In spite of In spite of Sri My Island? Yes. Uh, I think we need a different kind of reactor. Uh, I've heard of thorium reactors. I don't really know. They, they haven't really been developed. Mm -hmm. But they don't produce fuel for bombs. Yeah, plutonium. As a, as a byproduct. Yeah, plutonium. Yeah. Um, and I think it's a matter of engineering things correctly. Um, because I think that uh, that uh, photovoltaic, uh, wind, and so forth can be part of the solution. And certainly making buildings and transportation more efficient can help a lot too. There's a lot of waste going on. But neither of those, I think, can quite solve the whole problem. Mm -hmm. And the only technology I see is nuclear energy. And we have to be very careful with it. How to explain to public that uh, it's, it is not so dangerous as well? Some media try to to to, to, to post. Yeah, well, building a reactor on a fault line, I think, is not a very smart thing to do. Um, no, I don't know how to explain uh, to the public, but as I see it, that's really the only technology. Maybe someone will come up with some other technology. That would be even better. Yeah. If, if we, for instance, can uh, use sunlight to, produce, to efficiently produce hydrogen tanks of hydrogen and oxygen, which we then put in a fuel cell, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we still have to cover a large fraction of, uh, a large amount of land with it, but at least it's completely safe. Yeah. Uh, but there'll be a large investment in the in that, or well, there will in anything we do. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. That, that would be even better yeah. if that could be worked out. Yeah. You, you may know that while in, in Europe we are just in, in, in the middle of a very serious discussion about the future of the nuclear energy, because mm -hmm. well, in Germany, you may know in Germany, right, they, they cancelled, they, canceled. they were abandoned, right. they were closed all the while in our country, in my country, we are still discussing whether yes or no. Mm -hmm. Some people are saying, well, the government is saying probably yes. So, right. well, it's the, it's the issue of how people perceive the, 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 the safety of the nuclear energy. Right. And that's a, that's a problem. We as engineers, I, I trust mm -hmm. people working in the human power station, I trust them. But yeah. it's public, right. which is well afraid of. Well, it is a problem. It's a bit like being an airline pilot, that mostly things go along very nicely. If something goes wrong, then the person is expected to be very smart and react very well. But then they've been sitting there for 20 years, not having to do anything. Just a thing, I don't. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Russell, thank you so much for the pleasure to be here with you. Yes. Thank you for providing the answers. Mm -hmm. Once more, I really appreciate the opportunity for you, uh, for me to meet you personally. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I can see, as I can feel, your heart is much closer to engineering than yes. physics. I can, I can feel it. I yes. can feel it. So my very humble, second humble proposal is please come again. If there's a chance, come again. We can continue our discussion. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you.